morning children i hope you all are safe and healthy today we are going to learn in mathematics subject new chapter chapter number 13 ways to multiply and divide children you have to pay more attention to this chapter because in this chapter you will learn different different methods of multiplication and different different methods of division and in this lesson you have to actually doing the calculation so children remember one thing in this lesson each and every sum each and every exercise you have to note down and you have to practice it in the maths notebook okay children this lesson is bit long so i have divided into many parts and one more thing is important uh, take a pencil with you and open page number 170 so that we can start with this chapter number 13 ways to multiply and divide i hope you have learned your tables properly from table 1 to 20 so that this chapter will be easy for you so if you have not done it make sure that you will write down it with two times table of 1 to 20 okay this might be your homework remember children so let's start chapter number 13 ways to multiply and divide Chapter number 13, Ways to Multiply and Divide. You can see that here, the Mani Ratnam, the cashier. Mani Ratnam is the cashier of King Jayan. His job is to find out the salary of all the people who work for the king. This chart shows how much salary each person gets in a day. See, Mani Ratnam is a cashier. He has to give the salary to the person, like minister, horse rider, and cook. How much salary? Salary in a day. That minister will get rupees 195, horse rider will get rupees 76, and cook will get rupees 65. Now he has to calculate the salary of all the three persons. Mani Ratnam wanted to calculate the salary of the cook. For the month of January, he wrote like this. You can see that the Mani Ratnam is the person who has to calculate the salary of a cook, which is rupees 65. And he came in the month of January. He has to pay it for the month for January. Children, how many days are there in the month of January? January month has 31 days. Remember this thing. So he has what he has done. What we have to do it while for that giving the salary. We actually have to do its multiplication, right? Cook's birthday salary is rupees sixty-five. So what he have to do? Sixty-five into thirty-one, right? Because one day salary is uh, rupees sixty-five. So what he have to do? He has to give for thirty-one days salary. So sixty-five into thirty-one he has to do. But how he has to do it? So he has my forget it. Like 65, he has done it 60 plus 5. 31 is he has done 30 plus 1. He has break down the digits. And then he has done the multiplication. Like this. I have just enlarged this thing so that you can see it properly. 30, 60. He has multiplied 30 into 60. So how much he will get? 1800. Then he multiplied 30 into 5. So he get 150. Then he has done 1 into 60. Is 60. And 1 into 5. That is 5. So now he has to get total it over all the four this answers. Like 180 plus 150 plus 60 plus 5. In order to get the answer. The answer is. 2015 rupees. So you can see that here rupees is rupees 1800 plus 150 plus 60 plus 5 is rupees 2015. You can see that this answer, yes, this is the one method of multiplication. How he has done two digit number by multiply by two digit number. He has break down all the numbers like this way. But money at number is a cashier he is a man oh we can say that he knows certain maths 
I'm sure his her daughter uh, his daughter also knows certain maths. Mani Ratnam's daughter Bela has learned another method to multiply. She wrote like this and showed it to Bhanu, her brother. Akka, how did you do this? Her brother bit confused how she has done it. Then she replied that we can multiply 65 with 31 in two steps. We know 31 is 30 plus 1. So first multiply 65 with 1 and then with 30. So what she has done it here? She has not bifurcated 60 plus 5 but she has done it only the 30 plus 1. Understand children? And she has multiplied 65 into 1 and 65 into 30. Clear? And then whatever the answer comes that she has multiplied it. You can see that here. Understand? Like 5 plus 0, 5. 6 plus 5 is 11. So 1 here and 1 will be carry over. 9 plus 1 is 10. So 0 here and 1 will be carry over. So what the answer will get? 2, 0, 1. 5. Understand children? So in both the method, the answer will come the same. The answer remains the same. But the methods are two different methods. So children, in this first page only, you will learn two different methods of multiplication. Understand? First you have to bifurcate both the digits. And in the another method, only the last digit you have to bifurcate it. Clear? I hope you will learn properly. Understand children? Now next. Now Banu tried to find the salary of her minister for the month of January. He wanted to multiply 195 into 31. 195 into 31. You can see that he had 3 digit into 2 digit multiplication. But Banu is also following uh, Bela's method. So what, she, uh, what he has done? 31 he has divided into 30 plus 1. Okay. So 195 multiplied by 1 and 195 multiplied by 30. Again, he has to add both this number like this way. To multiply by 30, I first write a 0 here. See, listen, this is the one important matter. Then, I'm, then I only have to multiply by 3. Understand children, this is a trick. Banu has tried another trick. 195 into 30. What he has done? 0 is here. So I, she has written in 1's place already 1 0 because we know that any number we can multiply with any such numbers which having the 0 in its units place the answer will remain a 0 in its units place. Right? So he has done like this. So he what he have to do? 195 into 3. He only have to multiply by 3. So what is the answer is 585. Now you have to add it properly. 5 plus 0 is 5. 9 plus 5 is 14. 4 1 here and 1 will be carry over. So 8 plus 1 plus 1 that is 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. Here will become remain 0 and 1 will be carry over. 5 plus 1 is 6. So what is the answer? 6 0 4 5 is the answer. Understand children, that 195 multiplied by 31, how we are going to get 6045 using Banu's method. Okay, where we have to keep 10 in its unit place. Understand? Now practice time. Use Bela's method to multiply these numbers. 32 into 46. And 67 into 18. Children, in this lesson, particularly in this first and second page, the answers you have to note down in the textbook only. But further, you will not get any uh, written part where you have to fill the answers. So you have to write down the answers in the or the end the questions in the notebook. Okay. Practice time. Use Bela's method to multiply these numbers. 32 into 46. What we have to do? Divide it 46 into 40 plus 6. And 67 into 18. What we have to do? We have to divide 18 into, means break the 18 into 8, 10 plus 8. You can see that 32 into 46. 192. How it comes? 32 into 6. 
and 32 into 40 what will be the last digit here yes you are right it will be 0 here understand and then you have to multiply 32 into 4 so whatever the answer comes comes here in the these three places understand then we have to add up all these numbers now pay attention here 67 into 18 67 into 8 you have to write the answers and 67 we have to by forget 10, uh, 18 less 10 plus 8 here the space is given so what you have to write 10 you know that 67 into 10 you can multiply any number with 10 you can easily get the, give the answer because you have to just add one extra zero to that particular digit 67 67 into 10 is 670 now you have to add these two numbers so you will get the proper answer as I have solved here you can see that first 32 into 46 we will get the answer 1472 and 67 into 18 you will get the answer 1206 I hope you understand this thing this technique must be easy for you right now next is Shantaram a special cook Shantaram is a special cook who comes only on party days last year he was called for only 28 days for each day he has to be paid 165 okay find out how much money he will get in all only last year he comes only for 28 days so and in one day salary he take 165 so what you have to do you have to do 165 multiply by 28 right or not see that for each day he will get he has to be, he has to be paid rupees 165 so you can see that here three digit multiply by two digit okay so how we will do it 28 you have to bifurcate it as 20 into 20 plus 8 you can see that 165 into 8 is 1320 and 165 into 20 is 3300 so what you have to add it you will get 0 plus 0 0 2 plus 0 2 3 plus 3 6 3 plus 1 4 so how much rupees have to pay rupees 4 6 2 0 we have to pay if he is called for all days of the year how much salary will he get now there is some confusion you can see that if he is called for all days of a year how many days in a one year is 365 he is a special cook he will be charged more 165 165 into 365 here you can see that three digit multiply by three three digit so what you have to do 365 you have to break down it how you know this 5 plus 60 plus 300 right I think this thing you know how to write in expanded form right 365 if I give you any digit and if I told you to write in expanded form then how you will write 300 plus 60 plus 5 understand children so this is the expanded form of 365 and 165 is multiplied with 5 165 is multiplied by 60 and 165 is multiplied by 300 you can see the multiply by 5 we don't know the answer but 165 into 60 we know one digit of it what here we will get 0 in this place we will get 0 and then 165 multiplied by 6 whatever the answer comes it will be written in these three remaining places right children yes you can see that here 165 into 365 165 into 5 because we know that 5 into 5 is 25 so here the last digit will remain 5 understand so 165 into 5 is 825 165 into 60 as we know that we have to keep one zero here so I have kept here zero so I have to multiply 165 into 6 we know that 6 5 is 6 5 is 30 so again one here zero will come right 
so this way we will multiply 165 into 6 is 9900 and 165 into 300 you can see that here two digits are zero so what we will write here again we have to write here two digits zero and then 165 multiply by 3 5 3 is the 15 like this here 5 comes and then again we have to multiply it so if we add all these three numbers we will get 60,225 so we have to pay actually rupees 60,225 rupees for a Shantaram a special cook to come for all the days of a year understand now pay attention now find the salary of the minister and horse rider for one year minister and horse rider for one year one year means what how many days 365 understand yeah now let's see here minister what is the minister salary it's 195 and horse rider is 76 clear so we have to multiply these two digits separately with how many days 365 that is 365 with 195 and 365 with 76 right I have done it one one you have to do it see that I have done it here horse rider salary for a one year that is 76 multiplied by 365 you have to calculate for the minister salary that is rupees 195 into 365 okay children this you have to do it you have to actually write this in your notebook to solve this i think this whole page you have to copy down it in your notebook and solve it with the answer you don't have to pause the video and write it all the sums in the notebook i will uh, send you the separate pdf for this so from that you can copy down it but i must say that you have to do certain practice by your own also don't copy the complete answer from the pdf files okay better you just write by your own self that is more important 76 multiplied by 365 so again 365 what we have to do we have done it like this expanded form 300 plus 60 plus 5 and then we have to multiply 76 into 5 380 76 into 60 4560 and 76 into 300 is 22,800 and we have to add it all the three numbers so we will get rupees 27,740 rupees we have to pay for a horse rider for one year that will be the salary of a horse rider for one year but you have to calculate the salary of a minister which is rupees 195 per day for one year you have to calculate it by multiplying 195 into 365 okay children i hope you will understand this method of multiplication if you have if you have any doubt you can ask me but i think this will be very easy methods to understand okay children till then thank you so much practice more okay